Hi, I'm Rudy Winston with Canon USA. We've spoken about the optical foundation of Canon's new full-frame mirrorless camera system and its compatibility with so much of the gear that many Canon EOS owners work with every day. Now it's time to talk about the first camera in this system, the EOS R. Two vital things before going any further. This full-frame 30.3 million pixel camera is an addition to the EOS line, not a replacement for any camera in the lineup. If you shoot with Canon, you can add this camera to your bag and incorporate it into the work you create. And this is the first in what will ultimately be a series of mirrorless cameras targeting different users. The EOS R aims for the middle ground in terms of features, pixel resolution, and performance. It targets the experienced photo and video enthusiast and also photographers stepping up to their first full-frame camera. Just a few of the areas where this camera should find success include landscape shooting, travel, weddings and events, portraits, and available light imagery. And if a hybrid camera for stills and video is high on your wish list, this is one of the best equipped EOS cameras to date for 4K and Full HD video recording using Canon EF, EFS, and the dedicated RF series lenses. Picking the EOS R up and bringing it to your eye opens the door to a different EOS shooting experience. The camera is smaller than mid-range EOS digital SLRs, but it's no featherweight. It has a substantial feel to it. A magnesium alloy chassis, along with metal external panels and weather-resistant construction, immediately convey its solid design. And you'll see a big electronic viewfinder. This is an OLED-type viewfinder with excellent brightness, color, and detail. 3.69 million dot resolution isn't just a number. It means sharp detail you'll see immediately when you look into it. Eyeglass wearers rejoice. The viewfinder has the highest eye point measurement ever in a Canon EOS camera. Even with glasses, you'll be able to see the big image and the surrounding camera information. You can magnify images up to 10 times to check focus, even with AF active. And it has several aids for sharp results with manual focus. The viewfinder has so much potential, we'll have a separate episode to thoroughly cover it and the camera's dual pixel CMOS autofocus system. Mirrorless cameras by definition are smaller than digital SLRs. So there's less room on the EOS R for conventional buttons and dials. An EOS 5D Mark IV, for example, has a total of 19 buttons, not including a shutter button, on its back and top panels, and a dedicated depth of field preview button on its front. The EOS R has 12. Accordingly, some operations and access to controls will be different than what Canon users may have experienced before. Once again, we'll have an entire episode in this series on general camera operation with the EOS R. For stills or video, the camera records to a single SD memory card. It's the first EOS camera to be compatible with the faster UHS-2 memory cards, and these are recommended for 4K video recording, as well as for raw file shooters who expect to shoot continuous bursts of pictures. This camera opens the door to some exciting new possibilities. There's Eye Detection AF, for instance. This can change the way you shoot portraits or events. With focus coverage over most of the picture area, the camera can immediately detect and focus on a prominent face. And with eye detection active, now put sharpest focus on the eye nearest to the camera, even if it's way off center. This can really speed up your composition and shooting with stationary subjects and get you better frame to frame sharpness. In an earlier episode, we spoke about how smoothly compatible the EOS R is with Canon EF and EFS lenses, and there's no better example than its ability to use Canon EF lenses with any of three lens mount adapters. But this camera also works with EF tele extenders in ways not possible with digital SLRs. Combine a 2x extender on an F5.6 lens like the EF 100 to 400 millimeter, and attach it with a Canon mount adapter EF to EOS R. You get AF and an effective maximum aperture as slow as F11 throughout the entire area covered by dual pixel CMOS AF. 
This has never been possible on a Canon interchangeable lens camera before the EOS R. Low light shooting is enhanced too. The dual pixel CMOS AF system can read at light levels as low as EV-6 with the Canon RF 50mm f1.2L lens. Let's put that into perspective. At ISO 3200, the camera can focus at a light level that would require a 4 second exposure at f1.4. The electronic viewfinder is a revelation in extreme low light, working with the AF system so you can view and focus at light levels where your naked eye would have difficulty seeing. This will be a tremendous camera for available light shooting. Another option is silent shooting, selectable in the camera's menu. Whether you're a working pro or a photo enthusiast, this can change the way you shoot still, candid images, indoors and out. Silent shutter is so quiet, the camera flashes a white border around your image as you shoot, so you know when it's actually recorded an image. Image quality is never far from the minds of critical, experienced digital SLR users. When you look closely, still images taken with normal shutter operation from the EOS R should be very similar to those from the EOS 5D Mark IV, but you'll probably see less noise at high ISOs because of the more powerful Digic 8 processor. Bright highlights have new levels of correction possible in camera with enhancements to both highlight tone priority and the auto lighting optimizer. Expect the stabilization in your IS lenses to be even more effective because the EOS R detects shake not only from the lenses shake detection sensors, but also detects right off the camera imaging sensor. With two different pieces of information to work with, the result is added effectiveness to your lenses built in IS. For movies, electronic stabilization at the image sensor with five axis correction can combine with any IS in the lens for very effective IS during video recording. Here's something of interest to high end EOS users. If you use any of the Canon tilt shift lenses introduced from 2009 onward, for the first time you get in camera corrections for lens vignetting, chromatic aberrations, even linear distortion. Like all Canon lens aberration corrections, they're directly applied to JPEG images. Raw images are tagged with correction info, and that correction is applied if you process your raw files in Canon's digital photo professional software. And speaking of raw images, the EOS R uses Canon's latest .CR3 raw file type. It's a very high quality raw file, and it now gives you the option of shooting a smaller size raw or C raw file. Unlike the previous medium and small raw files in Canon digital SLRs, a compact raw file is truly full resolution with the same potential processing adjustments as a conventional Canon raw file. But instead of being roughly 32 megabytes or so in file size, the C raw file is approximately 17 megabytes for each click of the shutter. I started out by explaining that the EOS R is an addition to the Canon EOS line and one that any Canon user can add to his or her current arsenal. We squarely aim this at the mid-range of the camera market and are confident that its appeal will extend to many different types of photographers.